Topic 1. Human Factors and Ergonomics 1.1 Anthropometrics Design focuses on human needs, so designers must make sure the products they create fit the user's size, ensuring comfort during use. Designers can access various data and drawings that provide measurements of people of different ages and sizes. They must think about how users will interact with the product or service. It's crucial to consider both proper use and potential misuse. Differences in anthropometric data sets can vary widely across populations, affecting the size ranges for products, especially in the fashion industry. Human factors combine ergonomics and anthropometrics to optimize how people interact with products and systems. Goals of human factors Human factors aim to Decrease stress and fatigue by enabling tasks to be done more quickly, easily, and safely, with fewer errors. Boost safety. Simplify usability. Increase comfort during use. Enhance the performance, reliability, and maintenance of systems. What is ergonomics? Ergonomics involves applying scientific knowledge about how humans relate to the design of tools, systems, and environments. Physical ergonomics. Physical ergonomics deals with topics such as posture, workspace design, material handling, and repetitive movements, which can lead to stress injuries. It focuses on measurements of body size, strength, and physical abilities. Example, designing a workstation that reduces back strain by ensuring correct posture is maintained. Cognitive ergonomics. Cognitive ergonomics is concerned with mental processes like perception, memory, reasoning, and motor responses, especially as they impact interactions between people and systems. Example, designing a user interface that is easy to navigate, reducing the cognitive load on the user. Organizational ergonomics Organizational ergonomics includes aspects like communication, work design, shift management, team coordination, and quality management, impacting how work is structured and performed. Example, implementing team-based work shifts to improve communication and efficiency in a company. Anthropometric data Anthropometric data is divided into static data and dynamic data. Static data, or structural data, includes measurements taken when the body is in a fixed position, like height or arm length. This data is easier to gather since individuals remain still during the measurement process. Dynamic data, or functional data, involves measurements taken during movement or physical tasks, such as crawling height or reach. Although harder to collect, dynamic data provides more practical insights. Tools for collecting anthropometric data Various tools are used to gather anthropometric data, including sliding calipers, cloth tape measures, sitting height meters, and stadiometers. Percentiles and percentile ranges Percentiles in anthropometry tables show how a measurement compares to a population average. They indicate whether someone is above or below the average in a particular dimension. Anthropometric data and its application in design Designers have access to extensive anthropometric data, which is crucial in creating products that suit different user groups. When working with this data, you should be able to Interpret percentile tables to determine the appropriate dimensions for products. This helps in making products adaptable for various markets or adjustable to fit a wide range of users. Focus on key percentiles, such as the 5th, 50th, and 95th percentiles, and understand percentile ranges like 2.5th to 97.5th and 5th to 95th. Interpret percentile tables considering different national and international populations, as well as factors like gender and age. Clearance in human factors. Clearance refers to the minimum space required for a user to move through or into an area. This concept is especially important in the design of emergency exits and safety hatches. Example, when designing a hallway, ensuring sufficient clearance means that people of different sizes can walk through comfortably, even in an emergency. Reach in human factors. Reach, also known as the workspace envelope, is the three-dimensional space within which a person can perform physical tasks while staying in one position. Designing this space for the fifth percentile ensures that 95% of users can reach everything within the workspace. 
Example, in a car's interior, controls are placed within reach so that most drivers can easily access them without straining. Adjustability in seating design. Adjustability in products like seating is essential because there isn't a single design that fits everyone. Some products are available in different sizes, or they are adjustable to accommodate various user needs. Example, an ironing board that can be adjusted in height allows people of different statures to use it comfortably, affecting how its legs are designed. Range of sizes versus adjustability. Products can either come in a range of sizes or feature adjustability to fit different users. Example, clothing is often manufactured in a range of sizes to accommodate various body types, while children's car seats are adjustable to fit as the child grows. Ergonomes An ergonome is a 2D scaled model of the human body based on specific anthropometric data. Ergonomes are used in drawings to analyze how a human body would interact with an object of the same scale. Advantages Ergonomes are particularly useful in 2D design work like orthographic drawings, for assessing aspects like field of reach and field of vision. Disadvantages, they provide a simplified view, which might not capture the full complexity of human interaction with the designed object. Mannequins A mannequin is a 3D model of the human body, often used to evaluate how a person's body would fit or move in a design space. Advantages, mannequins offer a more accurate representation of body interactions with spatial elements, such as assessing the fit of a chair at a desk. Disadvantages, full-scale mannequins are generally more expensive and complex than ergonomes, but provide a better overall understanding of ergonomics in design contexts, such as with crash test dummies.